I am sure many of you, or at least some of you out there, already know mushrooms are healthy. I know I did, but according to a new study, they're even healthier than I thought, which is great because I do like them. I have also known the health benefits of them for a while, but this study recently done shows that they're even healthier than I thought before. Now listen, I know there are some of you out there that may not like mushrooms. I know there are people I know who do not like them, but there's no arguing that they are healthy. If you still do not want to eat them, that's fine. The reason I am reporting on this is because the purpose of this channel is to report interesting and informative research. This study was commissioned by the Mushroom Council, which is the first time I've ever heard about it, and published in the journal Food, Science, and Nutrition. The Mushroom Council is a U.S. organization that was created as a part of a law passed in the U.S. in 1990. The part of the law where the Mushroom Council was created officially took effect in 1993. So it officially started in 1993. I'm now quoting the Wikipedia article about the Mushroom Council, specifically its purpose here. Quote, the Mushroom Council funds mushroom research and promotion programs through a levy on mushroom producers and importers. The Council uses the funds for programs such as public relations and advertising, as well as communications through retail outlets and restaurants." End of quote. I have the link for the Wikipedia article in the description of this video about the Mushroom Council if you really want to know more about it. For further information about it, this study, I am quoting from studiesigns.org here. Quote, Researchers looked at data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey from 2011 to 2016. Dr. Victor L. Fulguni III and Dr. Sanjiv Ag Arwal, hopefully I'm pronouncing those names correctly, studied two different scenarios involving the nutritious produce. One model added 84 grams, roughly a half cup of common mushrooms, to the survey information. These varieties include white, cremony, and portobello mushrooms. The other added the less common oyster mushrooms to meals. The results reveal the addition of one serving of mushrooms can make up for the deficiencies in both potassium and fiber. Adding a serving of any mushroom in the study also increases nutrients like copper 24% to 32%, phosphorus 6%, selenium 13 to 14%, Zinc 5 to uh, 6 percent, riboflavin uh, 13 to 15 percent, niacin uh, 13 to 14 percent, and choline 5 to 6 percent in both children and adults. End of quote. Now, I believe those percentages are percentage of uh, daily value, the daily amount you should get. To. Those uh, nutrients are not all. They also contain a good amount of uh, vitamin D, especially white and Ramini mushrooms. They also contain a lot of sulfur-containing antioxidant amino acids like ergosthene and tripeptide glutathione. Hopefully I uh, pronounced those correctly. They're uh, a little tricky. Now, like I said before, I have always known that mushrooms are healthy, but I did not know that they had those amount of nutrients in them. Mushrooms are fairly low in calories and sodium, as well as not containing fat and sugar. That makes mushrooms a good food that is high in good nutrition and very low in unhealthy contents. There are other things about mushrooms that make them healthy besides just this. They are good for the brain and reduce the risk of heart disease, or at least certain particular ones, do a good job at stopping the buildup of plaque in our arteries. I have known these last two facts before hearing about this study. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Probably not if you do not like mushrooms, but probably most of those people probably did not even click on this video in the first place. So please subscribe 
If you have not already done so and want more content about health and science news. Thank you very much.